All right, JMC 6000 here. And what I have before us is the brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma SR5 trim. And I wanted to grab this trim to kind of do a review on it and compare it to my Maverick that I drive currently. You guys just saw the video of the 80,000 mile review I just did in the JMC garage. But what I have before us is I wanted to go through this and, and kind of... Uh, kind of look at to see how it compares to the Maverick. So number one, let's kind of begin with the overall looks of the Tacoma. Can I just say this? I like the way it looks. I really do. It's chunky, it's it's massive, it has girth and bulk to it. You can see it's very stylized on the side of it. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, here we go, run in. We have LED headlights, high beams and low beams, and we also have incandescent turn signals in this model. This particular model does come with fog lights, which are LEDs, are these rectangle LEDs on either side of the bumper. This does have the radar sensor. Um, again, let's kind of look at the side. You get, you get arrow, functional arrow on the front here around. Let me, before I even get to the tire, I forgot to mention about the air dam. How can we forget about this lower air dam? Yeah, it's big and oafy, but it's, it's okay. And I will say this about gas mount. I think it does help, but I, I do apologize for the wind. But let's kind of get into this a little bit more. Okay, Firestone tires. The size, these are 17-inch rims, being that this is the SR5. These are 17s. You got 245, 70 R17s for the tire size on the SR5. You can see the suspension in there. I believe it's a double wishbone. Uh, I may be wrong on that. But anyway, um, you can see down the side of it, this is the long bed model. And you can see just the amount of girth, the length that it has. It, it just looks chunky. Again, I do apologize for the wind. Um, but here goes, because this is the long bed, look how much room you have in this bed. It's amazing. And uh, unfortunately, this tailgate is not damped, but it is assisted when you go back up. It's very light to, to go back up to. So the tail lights, all LED, LED turn signals, LED backup lights, LED stop light on the top and back here. You can see the massive, massive exhaust tip right there for the 2.4 liter four cylinder. Yes, very windy. All right, again, this is the other side here. Now let's go ahead and look at the window sticker. 19 in city, 24 on the highway for the 2.4 liter turbocharger. I did 270 horsepower. Um, because this is the SR5 grade to get the upper level engine and then sticker for before the options It's 42.6 with options 44 127 for this particular Tacoma now before we actually hop in Let's go look underneath the hood and see what we got there All right underneath the hood of the new Tacoma. This is the T24A turbocharged 2.4 liter direct and port injected four cylinder. You see the direct injection rail right here on top. Um, the port injections right on the top here as well. You have some, uh, not much of an engine cover, so you got hoses and wires all in the way, but this is kind of the way the industry is going. They're not going to do engine covers anymore, so you kind of see everything that's going on. Spark plugs are pretty easy to get to. As you can see here, you see the, the inject, um, the, um, uh, direct injection uh, right back there as far as the uh, pressure or fuel fuel pressure anyway I, I'm kind of forgetting the word fuel pump direct injection full pump fuel pump right back there awesome all right we also have variable intake and exhaust cam timing right there um, antifreeze right here this uses an electric fan finally Toyota has ditched the actual uh, engine driven fan they actually went to a full electric fan which is so nice even on the new tundra they still have a engine driven fan they haven't gone to a full electric fan even on the new tundra it's nice to see that in here uh, again everything's easy to get to batteries right there air filters right here fuses and relays on either side um, brake fluid engine oil check right here and then we also have where you add oil and this particular engine, it is, I believe, yes, 0W20 for the engine oil. And then the pump, or the, the sorry, the serpentine belt, not the pump. The water pump is up here, but the serpentine belt as well. Awesome. I'm going to close up the hood. It is cold out here. But before I get into the front seat, I'm going to get into the back seat to show you the room back behind the driver's side seat. 
All right, so on 510, this is where I have my seat placed where I usually drive. And I want to kind of compare this to the Maverick. A um, couple of things, uh, and I had my son back here, my youngest son, because, I mean, really, the Maverick is our family vehicle. Um, that's going to be changing soon, but I can't reveal just yet what I have on order. Anyway, um, but uh, for what I, from what I can tell back here, again, this ESR5, there's one up from the base. Um, there's not a lot of room back here. I mean, you can see my knees have a, have a decent amount of room. The seat is all the way down. I hate the, when the seats are like high up, but because the seat's all the way down, I can't even put my toes underneath the seat. It won't let me. So this is kind of what I'm stuck with. Now I can have the driver's seat popped up a little bit so I can stick my feet underneath there, but right now I can't do that. In the Maverick, I can not even with the seat all the way down. Um, not a lot of features back here. You get a 12 volt power outlet, you get some cup holders, uh, but no fold down center armrest or anything like that. This kind of kind of basic back here, I will say. Um, and uh, the materials are all hard plastic. All hard plastic back here. No kind of padding at all. At least a Maverick gives you a padded armrest in the second row. All right, let's go in the interior. Awesome, I'm inside the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Again, I wanted to give this review as a Maverick owner and considering the price of this thing, let's kind of forget about the options this thing has. I mean, it has stupid options like, uh, you know, blacked out lettering and some other stuff. I, I'm not too worried about that. It does have a spray and bed liner. But let's just consider this truck as it sits, four wheel drive, long bed, base SR5 at $42,000. What do you get for the money? So a couple things, and I'll go over my likes and dislikes with this vehicle. Uh, a couple things, again, you just saw my, you know, what it, what it was like in the back, and I'm not too impressed with the room back there. Is it better than the previous Tacoma? Yes, but not by much. It is better than, I would say it's on par with the Maverick, maybe a little bit tighter than the back of the Maverick. But here's what we get for the SR5 trim. Again, um, for $42,000, you don't even get a leather wrapped steering wheel. This is just kind of like a fancy rubberized plastic steering wheel. It's it's okay, but it's something fancy. Um, again, everything up here is all hard plastic. You do get some nice uh, texture paint, not texture, but it's painted. Um, kind of plastic right here with the t Tacoma embossed in the plastic here. So that's nice. You get a really good size glove box. I really like the size of that. But everything else is kind of, I mean, for the money, it's kind of cheap. It's the interior. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little bit like, and people want to complain about the Maverick interior being cheap. Have you stepped into the new Tacoma? It is for, for, ten thousand more dollars than what my maverick was it's not that much better of an interior i understand the capability of the tacoma i understand that it, it the four-wheel drive and everything else more powerful and everything else but just anyway let's go over my likes and dislikes here we go all right let's go over my likes first of the tacoma number one i love the way it looks i really do i love the chunkiness of it i love the the girth of it i think it looks great the Tacoma really, I think Toyota knocked down the park with the looks. Um, it almost looks like a baby. It, it looks like a grown-up version of the previous Tacoma, but like a baby version of the Tundra, where the Tundra may be too big and too in your face. This, I think Toyota just hit it just right with the looks. I love the chunkiness of it and everything else. Um, anyway, number two, like I, I, I like about the Tacoma, has to be uh, the powertrain. I think the 2.4 turbo with the eight-speed automatically actually works well together and does decent gas mileage on the highway i mean this thing is rated for 19 in the city 24 on the highway and i think the combined rating is 21. i was getting upwards of 28 miles to the gallon on the highway doing 75 miles per hour 28 doing 75 that's unheard of in a mid-size pickup and it, you know i was pretty impressed i'm pretty impressed with the powertrain and then finally my third like I do enjoy Toyota Connected Experience. Um, right now, my wireless Android Auto is not hooking up because it wants to flash an error code at me. But for the most part, this is a nice system. Even though um, you can get a bigger screen, this 8-inch system is is pretty nice system. And the sound, it, the sound quality from the sound system is pretty decent for being a just a next level base model, the SR5. Now for my dislikes. Number one dislike has to be the interior. 
Um, I, I understand where Toyota is going with this. It is chunky on the outside and on the inside, but there's just too much hard for what for what you're paying. There's way too much hard plastic. And the only thing that is padded in this exterior is the armrest that's somewhat padded. And the armrest on the door is, is decently padded, but everything else on the door where you put your arms right here is all hard plastic. You do got some rubberized grip here and some rubberized grip over here. And, and I like the way that climate control has a nice click to it, but everything else is just cheap plastic, hard plastic, and it just screams cheap, even though this truck is not cheap. It's, it's quite a bit of money. So the interior could be better. Number two dislike that I have um, for this particular vehicle has to be the steering wheel. I, I find the buttons kind of like a little bit too big and massive, and I know I'm kind of nitpicking here, but I, I think Toyota could have slimlined the steering wheel. It's kind of big and open. I believe it's it's kind of a version of what's in the uh, Tundra, but I, I feel like the steering wheel could be a little bit better, and maybe it's because it's not leather wrapped, but I don't know. The steering wheel, especially for the money, could be better. Um, I somewhat like the faux stitching here. It's kind of unique, but anyway, steering wheel. And and finally, uh, the, my third and final dislike has to be the seat comfort. Um, the seats could be more comfortable. These are the, the SR5 seats. They are a cloth seat, but the cloth is kind of scratchy. It's not very high quality. And what I find really that's bothersome about the seats is they're firm. They don't have a lot of give to them. They don't have a lot of cushion to them. They're, they're a very firm seat. And um, that's good for my back, but uh, I don't think my butt would quite like that in the long run. But anyway, that's just my likes and dislikes. A couple highlights. Again, I love this. This has simple climate control where you have temp, where you have a uh, fan right here. Um, the temp is kind of weird. It, it goes up like that for warmer and goes down like that for colder. Kind of unique got some nice quality toggle buttons here a nice place to put your phone you got two charging ports right here USB-C um, got uh, electronic parking brake and um, you also have a charging port or a connection back here if you want to run a, uh, a vehicle camera which is pretty cool you can hook up your dash cam and you have a nice port right there um, anyway and this does come with a standard digital 8 inch gauge cluster which is really nice yeah, there we go. Hear that 2.4. Anyway, um, so this, you know, overall, I think it's a it's a good rig. It's a decent rig. I think Toyota really knocked out of the park with the looks, with the style, and everything. I just think that for the money, for what Toyota is charging now, they really need to step it up in quality. As far as the initial, what you touch, what you feel, what you see, um, there's there's different textures in here and not all of them seem like they go together well for example and, and have a look at this son i mean you got these different textures here look this side is jetted out more than this side and and it just seems like this part is just stuck on there and th and this part right here this i can kind of pull up with my finger almost it's just i don't know there, there could be a little bit better quality and i understand this this truck is is built to a price point this is on the sr5 trim and i understand that the higher trim tacomas are really a lot nicer uh but for the money and what you're paying for i expect a little bit better quality than what i see in front of me Toyota did a good job but they could step it up a little more this is a good trunk but i think there's some other options out there that you can look into whether it be the gm twins but i don't know I, I'm really let down by the powertrain in the GM Twins versus the powertrain here. This, for me, the powertrain and the looks really win me over over the GMC Canyon and the Chevy Colorado. Uh, the Ford Ranger just came out. Again, that's a carryover powertrain in the Ranger, but you can still get the 2.7 V6 in the Ranger, and you can get the 3 liter for the Raptor models. And it looks like initially that the quality in the interior Ranger is going to be better than the quality in this and more room than what's in this. Again, I don't know yet because I haven't seen the new Ranger. Please like, comment, subscribe for that to come when I again, we get a hold of a new Ranger. But this is what I come to find out. Now, stay tuned for the driving portion and I'll give my overall um, designing factor on this new Tacoma. Thank you. All right, JMC 6000 here in the driving portion of the 2024 Toyota Tacoma SR5 four-wheel drive long bed 
Um, and uh, about ready to go my hoe here with the new 2.4 liter. Uh, gone is the V6. We kind of knew that going into this, but uh, what I wanted to do is kind of figure out how this 2.4 is going to go, uh, how it feels going up this hill. Now, I will say, I've been impressed with the fuel mileage in this thing. Um, and I, I have to admit, I think Toyota has a winning combo with the 2.4 with the 8-speed automatic. I've been very impressed so far. And the 2.4 is punchy. Um, it, feel, it feels very punchy. It has a lot of mid-rate grunts. A couple things to remark about this engine, though, is one, it sounds, as other people have put it, it sounds very industrial. Um, it's not It's not the most pleasing sounding four cell in the world. It has a very groaning, very, uh, very tractor-ish kind of a sound to it. Um, again, it's not the most pleasing four cylinder in the world, uh, but other than that, it gets the job done, and uh, it may not be as pleasing sounding as, let's say, the 3.5 in the old Tacoma, but as as I'm pulling up this hill right now, it hasn't even downshifted. Um, it's still staying right around 18, 1700 RPMs, hasn't even downshifted going up this hill. It's just pulling right up like an absolute mountain goat. Absolutely impressed by that. Uh, again, um, very impressed with with what Toyota, okay, just downshifted because got behind a slower person. But again, impressed by that. It's not the most, I would say it's not the most entertaining in the world, but you can hear it. It gets a little industrial sounding and I have to admit on the top end, it can get a little, almost like it sounds like it's straining. That's what it sounds like, almost like it's straining but it's not. A uh, couple things to note about the ride. Again, coming from the Maverick, uh, the ride of this thing, it's very, I have to say this, it's its very stiff, very bouncy, and this has coil springs in the back. It doesn't have leaf springs, it has coil springs. Shocks are mounted outboard the frame and not inboard like the older to come. Actually, I think the older to come is we're mounted outboard the frame, uh, but those were leaf springs. This thing has coil springs, and I have to say the ride is kind of jarring at times. Like I'll go over a bump, and you can feel the impact. It's and, and I noticed this about when I drove the new Tundra, but I haven't done that review yet. But um, the ride could be better. I, I was hoping for it to be better. Now, don't get me wrong; it is much better than the old Tacoma. But for having coil springs. With shocks mounted outboard the frame rail, I was hoping for a better ride. And I'm very surprised that um, I know full-size trucks, even full-size like the Ram and even the F-150 ride better than this smaller Tacoma. So kind of kind of surprised by that. Um, it handles corners okay. I mean, not bad for the for the small for the small size tires that are on it, but the ride is a little stiff, a little jarring at times. Uh, definitely the Maverick rides 10 times better than this thing. Even my front wheel drive hybrid Maverick ride 10 times rides 10 times better than this Tacoma. Um, and then the engine, again, uh, definitely good power, decent fuel economy. I've been very impressed by the fuel economy, even going on these back roads here, been averaging about 23 miles to the gallon. But, um, oh, so sorry about that. Anyway, so this has been my driving review. Again, this is for the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys be blessed. Have a wonderful day. And we'll catch you on the next one. Next one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I upload every single Wednesday morning and every single Saturday evening for JMC Garage Talk. Thank you so much. Awesome.